Hi folks and welcome to module 9. This is the last module of our Applied Data Science course. This module we're going to be doing a mini natural language processing unit and we're also going to look at collecting data from social media using APIs and we are going to cover three new classification algorithms. We're going to cover the naive Bayes algorithm, we're going to cover the support vector machine algorithm, and we're going to cover neural networks. Um, all of these are going to be demonstrated here today, um, but I want to start with the Twitter API because that's going to be the start of your pipeline. Um, so the Twitter API is useful for gathering information from Twitter. It allows us a programmatic way to access all of the data available on Twitter or the data that Twitter makes available to us. In order for, to get that information and to use that API, um, we need to do two things. First, we need to install a Python Twitter API package. Um, or we could use um, an HTML request library, but generally the API packages are the best way to go, um, and you'll see why in a second. Um, and then after we've got that installed, and there's a link to the one I recommend on the Canvas site, um, after you've got that installed, you wanna go to this page, apps.twitter.com, and you're gonna sign up as a developer. So if you have a Twitter account already, um, you can sign in here. And if you don't, you can go to twitter.com and create one. Um, so you go to twitter.com and you just click sign up. Um, and then once you've done that, you'll click, you'll go back to apps.twitter.com and sign in. And it'll take you just to a, a standard Twitter login page and you enter your password and your username. There's also an option to sign up on this page. Um, and so you can just log in. And once you're logging in, it'll log you, it'll bring you to this apps page. And if this is your first time as a Twitter developer, you won't have any apps here. Um, you can see I've got one app here that I'm using for some research. And then I've got one that I've set up for this. Every app has unique keys associated with it, and that tells Twitter who is um, accessing its data. Um, you can click through to these apps, and you'll see um, information about the app. Um, and then what you'll need to do is you'll need to go to this Keys and Access Tokens tab, and you'll need to get your consumer key and your consumer secret. Um, I'm not going to show you them right now because the secret obviously is to, supposed to be kept secret. Um, but you can see my consumer key down here and this goes straight into our code later. Um, you, if you don't have your access level set to read and write, you also need to set it to at least read. Um, you shouldn't need write access for this project. Um, and then you you can also click on this manage keys and authentic access tokens to um, to go and get other access tokens. Um, let's take a look at the API for a second. So this is this page is linked um, from the Canvas site, and this is the Twitter API package for Python that I recommend using. Um, there are installation instructions down here. You should just be able to install it with a pip command um, and that's pip install twitter api and then you do that from the command line um, on Mac or Linux and it should work on Windows as well. Um, you sh will need to install that. Um, and there's a, there's a mini tutorial on, on how to do that. I'm going to show you that in just a second. Um, so you can read through this if you'd like. Um, and they've got you know nice command line utility down here if you want to use that. Um, so 
the if we jump over to the code that I posted along with these tutorials, um, you'll see that the first section of our code um, it deals with the Twitter API. Let's make this full screen so you can see it. Oops. So the first section of our code deals with the Twitter API. Um, so we are we import the Twitter API, obviously, and then we set up our consumer key and our secret consumer secret as variables. You'll want to replace these uh, these strings with the strings for your consumer key and your consumer secret, um, and then you create an API object. And this API object is um, the authentication of your account on Twitter. So it's basically your login. So it's basically you logging into Twitter um, and then that login information is stored in this object. And you'll see down here um, I've created a convenience function that um, searches Twitter, makes requests to Twitter for you and um, you pass the API to that function um, and it's actually the API that's doing the request um, and so if you think about it, it's your login performing some request um, uh, on Twitter. And that's, uh, that's, how we, um, that's how we access Twitter. Um, so that's going to conclude our um, introduction on setting up Twitter. Um, our next lecture is going to be on getting the data from Twitter and getting it into a format usable for data classification. Thank you. I'll see you in a second.